Volume automation has been added in Banana Box 2022, and it now gives you way more control over your mix in Banana Box with the use of node-based volume control in the audio edit window. Previously, you could only set volume changes for tracks right at the beginning of bars, so no swells or fine-tuning of the mix could be done, but all that has changed with this new feature. Now I have a song loaded that I've been using in some of my previous tutorials, this modern country style with layered guitars, and I'm going to add yet another layer on top of it, this lush chord slow pedal steel. So the idea that I had with this pedal steel is that I would have it very, very low in the mix so that it doesn't get in the way of all of these other layers here. But then here at bar 45, I'll bring a bunch of the other guitars down and I'll bring the pedal steel up just to kind of give the whole scene a shift, uh, have a new vibe for this section of the song. And to do that, I'm going to use volume automation on a bunch of the tracks. So first I'll set the pedal steel. I'll go into the audio edit window and I'll press this button to turn on volume automation. That has added this blue line here to the track and we can see that it says 0 dB. That means with it set there, there is no change to the level of the pedal steel. It would just sound the way it normally would. But we can increase this to make it louder or decrease it to make it quieter. Now I'm just going to listen to a little bit of it. So it's already pretty low, but I really don't necessarily need to hear it at all here. So I'll lower it down to negative three decibels. So what I did was I just grabbed, there was a little dot at the beginning of the line and you, I just clicked on it and dragged it down to here. So that changes the whole, the level of the entire thing. But we can change this line further on in the song and I'll show you that in a minute. So let me just play a little bit again. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the chord chart and it was here at bar 45 that I thought I might want to have the pedal steel come up and some of the other instruments come down. So I'll go back into the audio edit window and I'll go to bar 45 Now I'm going to click on the line here, just a single click like that, and that adds this dot. So that is, that's what we call a node. Now if I click over here and add another one, then I can move this up. And now you can see that everything that is playing at this point is quieter at negative 3.62 decibels to be exact. But then here it moves up to zero decibels and maybe I'll even bump it up a little beyond that. All right, so now I'm gonna to listen to it. It might be a little jumbled because we still have all of those other guitars in there as well, but let's see how that sounds now. You know what, it's, it's a little hard to tell in the mix, so why don't I just solo this and we'll play it here. So actually, it could come up quite a bit more. So to make it stand out a bit more, now I'm going to go to some of the other guitars and I'm going to start lowering them. So I'll start here with guitar 7. So again, it's right at bar 45 that I want it to come down, so I'll put a node here. Now if I was to move this, that would move, you can see if I zoom out, you can see that wherever you've added a node, there's a line between the two nodes and that indicates at any point along here that's where the volume is. So right now this would be just a gradual increase in volume 
all the way up here to around bar 45, which I don't want. I want it to stay at the same level, but then at bar 45, I want the volume to increase. So I add another node here and I go like this, or sorry, rather this one I want to decrease. So I'll bring them, why don't I just for now, I'll just go through and change all of those guitars to negative four at that point right there. So same thing here, down to negative four. This is now guitar five, guitar four. Guitar three, now this, you'll notice this looks a little bit different because this is a stereo track as, and the other ones we've seen so far have been mono tracks, but it works the same way. Guitar two, and guitar one. All right, so we'll see how that sounds now with the overall mix. And I think it could even come up a bit more. So that was a pretty simple example of how to use this. Just bring some instruments up, bring, bring others down. But you can really be as complicated as you, as you want with this. For example here, I'll solo the pedal steel again here. And you could do things like if you see that a certain area is a little bit lower, you could bump that up. For example, I'll put two nodes right here at the beginning of this area and two nodes at the end. And then that middle area I can kind of bump up a little bit. There you go. Now let me just play that back and see how that sounds. And I could even right here, where it was kind of dipped there, I could bring it up even more if I really want that to stand out. And now I could bring the band back in and see how that sounds. This part here I could maybe bring down a little bit again. But then I could come up for this section here. Maybe even more for that little bit. I'm going to show you another great use for volume automation, and that's using it to fade out a song. Right now I have one of our songs with vocals loaded. These are songs that we've put together with various artists showcasing how Band in a Box styles can be used. I'm going to get into a lot more detail with the songs with vocals in part two of this bootcamp video, but for now I'm just going to use this as a way to show you how you can make fade outs for your song. Now this song, as you'll hear, ends with just a final chord. Which works perfectly fine for this song but I'd like to actually change that so it fades out instead. So to do this, first of all, I'm going to extend this, um, I think maybe an extra four bars. So instead of the song going to bar 86, I'm gonna just, just gonna change that to 88. So that will give me an extra two bars to fade out. <laughs> 
It actually doesn't really matter whether or not then the song has an ending because I'll have faded it out by then. But I can actually set that to not generate an ending at all even. So there you go. That has grayed this area out. So now we just have four bars of E ending it, which is, I think, plenty of space to, uh, to create a fade out here. So I'll regenerate this. And so now I'll just play it from here. So what I'm going to do now is go in and from bars 86 through 88, I'm going to use volume automation on all of the tracks here. So starting with the bass, so I'll go from bar 86, I'll put a new node in there, and then at 89, I'll have dragged it out and over those three bars then we'll have that fade out. Same for the piano. 86 to 89, drums, 86 to 89. Now, if this seems too sudden, I could always change that afterwards, but we'll see how this sounds. Now, the vocals, I'm just going to leave, uh, at least for now. I think they'll be fine because they're, I think they're mostly out by that time anyway. Mm. I might bring, bring the lead vocal down a little bit if it seems like it's a little too loud, but let's hear how that sounds now. To say, yeah, so that sounded pretty good to me. Maybe I, I might go and add one extra bar so that it's not quite as sudden a drop off. But uh, that already sounded pretty good to me. So, so I liked it the way it was before, having an actual chord to end the song, but I also liked having the fade out as well. And so that's another great use for volume automation. So you can see that this feature now adds a lot of new possibilities for mixing and balancing your song. Oh.